Today we're going to try to answer the question, is it worth it to raise chickens from a strictly financial point of view? We're talking about the cost of raising chickens, specifically my cost of raising chickens because everyone's results will vary. We'll cover egg layers, heritage meat breeds, and broiler chickens which are the fast growing meat birds. Before we get into the numbers, I want to clarify that there are an enormous number of variables when it comes to raising chickens, such as should you buy a coop versus build a coop, paying for supplies or building with reclaimed materials, chicken run versus no chicken run, uh, buying organic feed, more expensive feed versus factory or less expensive feed, raising production birds or fancy birds. Production birds will generally uh, yield more eggs, while fancy breeds will yield less eggs, but are pretty much cooler to look at. Eating spare roosters when they reach uh, like 90 to 100% of their full size, and that would be around five months of age or about 20 weeks. Hatching your own eggs, which incurs the cost of an incubator, a brooder, pine shavings, feeders, waterers, heat lamps, a heat plate, etc. There's a lot of variables. So I put together a cost breakdown spreadsheet and link that in the description below. For this example, in an effort to make this as easy as possible for new chicken owners or potential owners, we're gonna go super basic, which is how I started off. All of the wood that I used to build my three chicken coops was reclaimed wood or materials that I found or that was given to me. The couple of exceptions to this was that uh, I did buy chicken wire, a couple of boxes of screws and some plastic chicken netting. But as far as beams, posts, plywood, shingles, garage door panels, tin, tarp, all of that, etc. It was all given to me. Uh, of course, I did purchase most of my birds, the incubator, the straw, the wood chips, feed, the heater, bought all that stuff. I did hatch some stuff myself, but most of it we bought. For this example, we're gonna say that a buyer purchases just one chick at $3.50. And in this example, we'll say that that chick is a hen. Please note that chickens are flock animals and must be with the flock to live their healthiest and best life. I'm only giving this example of one chick uh, for this specific video, just to like show easy numbers so that we don't have to do tons of multiplication uh, between multiple birds. We'll just say one chick and we'll go from there. Uh, a 50 pound bag of feed costs uh, $24 and that 50 pound bag of feed contains 800 ounces of food. Taking that $24 and dividing it by the 800 ounces, each ounce is worth three cents. US dollars. For weeks one through four, the chick will eat approximately one ounce of feed per day. So it's three cents per ounce. You're looking at 21 cents of chicken feed per week. Weeks five through eight, the chick will take about two ounces of feed per day, which is a total of 42 cents per week. And then weeks nine through 12, the chick eats about three ounces of feed per day, 63 cents for each week. And then finally weeks 13 and onward, the chick will eat about four ounces of feed feed per day for a max total cost of 84 cents per week. It just costs 84 cents per week to feed your chicken. But before we move on, I would like to interject here that there are a number of ways to cut down on the feed cost. Uh, but two of the fastest ways are feed your chickens kitchen scraps. And number two is allow your chickens to free range. Those will cut down on your feed costs significantly. Uh, back to the numbers. First, we're gonna talk about hens. Around 20 weeks of age, your hen will begin laying eggs. Up to this point, you have fed her uh, $11.76 in feed. But don't get too excited. Those first few weeks of laying are gonna be hit or miss on most days and the eggs will be pretty small. So after three or so weeks, your hen will become more consistent with larger eggs. By week 24, she should be laying about five eggs or more per week. At an average of $5 per dozen eggs, each egg laid would be worth about 41 cents. So in a week of laying five total eggs, your hen will have provided $2.05 of eggs. Now, whether you decide to sell the eggs or just keep them to offset the cost of your grocery bill, that's up to you. At week 35, your hen will have laid 60 eggs or more, valued at a total of $24.60. Her feed cost from the purchase date or hatch date to week 35 will be $24.36, or less if you gave kitchen scraps and let her free range. This is what we consider the break even point. And I'll say like a loose break even point, uh, strictly in terms of feed cost. If you have multiple birds, I highly recommend trying to sell your farm fresh eggs and offset the cost of your coop build, the pine shavings, straw, feeders, waters, etc. cetera. Uh, your hen should continue to lay consistently for two to three years. After three years, your bird's production will drastically drop. Uh, however, she will continue to eat just as much four ounces per day. At that point, you could have a difficult decision on your hands. Uh, either keep the bird and allow her to live out her days, uh, she will continue to eat, 
and those feed costs will absorb and eventually overtake any profitability that you've created with her eggs. Hens can live up to 12 years and only lay consistently for three of those years. So there's a decision to be made. Number two of the decisions, uh, give your hen away to someone that doesn't mind feeding a retired bird. And then number three is process your bird and use her as a stew bird. Now I will pause here and say that after three years, that hen is gonna be pretty tough. Typically people that process their hens that are finished laying, uh, they're, they're pretty tough birds. So we call them stew birds. Now let's look at roosters, specifically heritage roosters, meaning not the fast growing broiler chickens. Uh, I highly suggest that you keep a rooster with your flock uh, to keep the flock safe and in order. However, some living situations or circumstances don't lend themselves well to keeping roosters, and sometimes you just end up with way too many roosters from either a hatch or buying chicks from the store or a hatchery. We separate our roosters into two categories, breeders and eaters. Breeders? Breed. Those are our main guys. Currently, we have Silver Dollar, our barred rock rooster who leads our main flock. Then we have Ranger, our Jersey Giant, who has a couple hens of his own, and Little P, who has his own little family. He's an Americana, and we love him and all the Americana, those little blue egg layers. We love them. However, every other roo goes to the eater's coop. Now, feed costs for roosters from hatch to 20 weeks are the same as the hens, $11.76. At 20 weeks, we process our guys. We are able to get three and a half pounds cleaned weight per harvested bird, uh, depending on the breed. The Jersey Giant gives a little bit more meat. Americanas, a little less meat. At an average of four pounds, we're getting this clean, healthy, sustainable meat for $2.94 per pound. This is substantially more than what you would pay at the grocery store. However, if we turn back to our egg laying hens, just nine additional weeks of laying eggs, minus the nine weeks of feed cost after she has become profitable, uh, completely absorbs the food cost of raising those heritage roosters for meat. Now, to take a brief look at the production broiler chickens, those Cornish rock crosses that grow so fast. I've never raised these, so I'm just gonna go off of info that I found online. Uh, each meat bird is ready to butcher in just eight weeks. This is why we call them production birds. In those short eight weeks, each bird will consume uh, about 15 pounds of feed versus the 22 pounds that a heritage breed chicken will eat. Uh, also worth noting, the production broilers will have a much softer, tender meat due to being so young and the fact that they just stay mostly sedentary and just stuff their face all day. Heritage meat birds, on the other hand, tend to have a slightly tougher meat consistency due to the fact that they are chickens that are actually being chickens living their lives, running around, sparring, free ranging, chasing down snakes and bugs and doing things that chickens were meant to do. The reason we've decided to go with the more expensive heritage breed is because we are not trying to raise meat birds at scale. We just want to feed our family and give some to our friends and locals in the area. So is it worth it to raise chickens from a strictly financial point of view? That's kind of up to the person that is raising the chickens, what their plans, methods, strategy, and end goals are. I think that if you track the income and expenses, have a detailed plan and work that plan, yes, it can absolutely be financially worth it. If it weren't, you wouldn't see chicken operations. However, even if you don't do those things, and even if it's not financially worth it intrinsically, the extrinsic value can be huge. There is something to be said when it comes to raising chickens, spending time with them, and the relaxation that they provide. It can be very mentally rewarding, even if it's not financially rewarding. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it made some sense. There was a lot there. Remember, there is a link in the description if you wanna see that spreadsheet where I sort of broke down all the prices and the cost uh, of the feed and break even points. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, my chickens would love it if you pecked that like button. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video.